Hey, what is up guys, IWS Help here, and today Apple released yet another software update for iOS 10.2.1 Beta 2. Today was released for registered developers. Now, the new software can be downloaded by going to the settings in general, and you go to the software updates tab, and you'll get prompted to download the new software. It came in at 64 megabytes here on my iPhone 7 Plus and 6S Plus as well. Now, what is new with this new software? As always, in this video, what I do is I cover any of the new glitches that are fixed, uh, some of the performance enhancements and any of the new features if any are available so let's go ahead and dive right in now i know a lot of you guys like to know the new build number so let me go ahead and share the new build number right there 14d15 that's going to be the new build number for ios 10.2.1 beta 2. now what's new with this new software in terms of feature well i was digging around the entire operating system and i have to say i couldn't find one single thing however Yesterday, I had a very different experience using Beta 1 for iOS 10.2.1, and I tweeted about this, and that is, I managed to get an entire day on one single charge. I wasn't capable of doing that in the past. I wasn't able to do that in the past with iOS 10.1.1 or below, and it looks like Apple is improving the performance of the battery, so I tested it on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus, and I managed to get through the entire day. That was not possible for me running previous versions of iOS 10. This software may also be adding a new diagnostic information tool for iPhone 6s that are having battery issues where their devices will be shutting down after 30 percent completely shutting down and then you plug them into charge and they will reboot like nothing happened so there's an issue with the batteries and i'll link you guys to that video where i talk more about that in case you have an iphone 6s that information might be very very useful apple is holding a replacement program absolutely free for those devices i also wanted to go ahead and test some of the glitches that were uh, possible before to see if apple patched those uh, let's go ahead and test the one where you can remove the labels from the icons by simply bringing up the control center and tapping or pressing on the home button and it will remove the labels from the icons. Let me go ahead and try that here, see if that works. And it's still there, so that's not fixed as of yet. Now yesterday I also shared a video with you guys where you can go ahead and select the videos option, click record, and then triple click the home button, and then press on the power button, and you can still be recording. And as you can see, it is still recording, so that's not fixed either. So let's go ahead and do that. You can hear the video stopped now. So that glitch isn't fixed. So if you want to watch that video, it's going to be linked in the description down below. But it's a very cool way to record video on your iOS device as the display is off. Now, what about performance? Well, I did run a Geekbench test on the latest beta of iOS 10.2.1. And if we go here, you see that the single core score, let me get a closer look here. The single core score on beta 1 and beta 2 is very close to identical and the multi-core score just a slight increase nothing drastic in terms of performance you would expect the same performance on this beta as the previous beta which is a good one i don't expect apple to release too many betas for this software we might see another beta maybe two more depending on what else needs to be fixed this software update should be released to the public at the beginning of january or so because of the holidays apple may push it back but i don't see too many betas coming for this software so i hope you guys enjoyed the video this was a quick update on apple latest beta software for iOS 10.2.1. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.